What's up? This is your hippie dippy painter man out here, and welcome to the Sunday Fun Day Crazy Train. I hope you saw the people before us. That would be Taslima Maya Art, Venom Fluid Art Creations by Christy and Shan B. Fluid Art. And here's what we're going to try tonight. First, we're going to mix up the paints. What I'm going to use is, I'm going to use this uh, copper by Creative Inspirations, which has already been mixed up previously. I'm going to use this platinum by Golden Treasure Folk Art. I'm going to use Brulee from This Little Piggy. And I'm going to use Macaw, whoop, where am I, from This Little Piggy. And I'm going to use S'mores by This Little Piggy. And I'm going to add the S'mores to this Arteza Bordeaux Red. Let's get that done first. Let's add a little s'mores in there and mix that up. I'm going to hold this out far away from me here. Don't have the mask on because I'm talking to you guys. I want you to be able to understand me. But I am holding this far away from me when I open it. I have 34 inch arms and it is all the way stretched out. So about almost a yard away from me. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a good scoop of this. We're going to mix it in with this Bordeaux Red for two reasons. Number one is because I want to darken it up a little bit. Number two, I'd like to have a little sparkle in it if I can get away with it. We will see. Closing this back up. Bear with me here for a second. And we'll tighten that down. And I'm going to take and score a little Josiah right on top of that pile I just did in this cup. Maybe it'll make it easier for me to stir it in, we will see. That works, it's sitting right on top of that pile, so maybe I can spin it around here a little bit on top of the pile, and cover all the, disperse all the pigment, and then go mix it in. Seems to be working well. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Now let's try and mix them in. We're mixing, mixing, mixing. Yes, we are fixing. Mixing, mixing, mixing the paint. Don't try to understand it. Just feed her open branded. And always keep your paintbrush by your side. Mixing, mixing, mixing. All right, what do we got? Ooh, I have a darker brulee. I mean, excuse me, a darker Bordeaux. And it's nice and sparkly, like I wanted. So that's groovy. Now I'm going to hand this over to Mama Cat. She is the consistency expert. We'll see if she thinks that's good. And I'm going to move on to the other this little piggy colors. And the next color we're going to mix is going to be McCall. So let's put a little bit of Josani in the bottom of that. Everybody always wants to know how to mix these pigments, so. This is not the only way, but this is the way I mix them. And we're gonna hold this far away from me and open it up. And I'm gonna open the top off of that. Oh, this one hasn't been opened yet. I thought it had. There's two, there's two lids in that one. Hmm. Stick that back down in there. And I'm gonna take my little scoopy scoop. Take me a big old fat scoop of that and put it down in there. Then I'm gonna close it up. And set it to the side. How's that look, Miss Cat? Does that look like the right texture? I, I added a little bit to it, so it's good. She added just a little bit to it. All right, now what you wanna do, you pour you some Josani down on the bottom. Not much, just a little bit. And then, you take your little scoop here, and remember to wear a mask when you do this. Once some particles get in your lungs, they're not coming back out. Only reason I wasn't wearing a mask this time is because I'm trying to do a video here and wanting to hear y'all to hear me right. And uh, also because I held it far away from me when I put it in there. Now you go ahead and you do that. See, I got that moistened. Put that, let that, uh, so sign you in there and get it all moistened where it's all covered. Then you're going to add in your bare 8300 paint. Take your scoop of it, 
out of a container. I put it in this little container while Miss Cat did because it's easier to handle that way. And I'm going to drop it in there. It's got the consistency of a fat booger. <laughs> Just kidding. Out. But it's definitely slimy. Pudding. Pudding. Yeah, there you go. Pudding. It's the wonderful the jello pudding. You're going to love the jello pudding. Anyway, I guess you're not supposed to do all Bill Cosby imitations anymore. <laughs> Since he got caught with his drawers down or whatever you want to call that, with his quaaludes out. <laughs> anyway. Let's see there. I guess that might be close to what I need. Let me stir up and see what we got going here. What I'm gonna do is, a, just so you know, I know I didn't tell you what I was gonna do yet. <laughs> I was busy doing this. Uh, I'm gonna do a double open cup pour on a black colors to go house paint. But in that black house paint, I have uh, about 30% Floetrol that I put in there. And I have a little squirt of GAC so it won't crack. All right, got that mixed up. Isn't that pretty? Hold on, whoop, isn't that pretty in there? I'm gonna hand that one to Miss Cat and let her check on consistency. And then we're gonna go with the brulee. Whoop. I need the Joe Sonia. And she needs the Joe Sonia, which is sitting right in front of her, but she didn't sorry, notice. I didn't see that. <laughs> it's okay. She just didn't see it. Okay, again, I'm at arm's length here, boys and girls. Big old scoop of that. Now, some people use a whole lot less of this. I do most of the time, but put a little extra pigment in this. It's a little tiny bit extra because I want to make sure that it's highly pigmented because um, the only tube paint I've got in this whole thing is that uh, Azteca that I mixed the uh, s'mores with. The Bordeaux. And the uh, Azteca Bordeaux, yeah. And the metallics. And the metallics. So these are going to kind of carry their day. I mix up the CA. The CA is going to be one third tube paint and uh, two thirds Australian Floetrol. There you go, darling. I'll let you mix that too. Perfection. Whoop. I pulled the thing out of it. There you go. And I will go ahead and put up the house paint. Got a bunch of bubbles in it. It sat long enough. Well, I did put more stuff in it, but got this one. See how pretty that turned out? Real dark, but with sparkles. Turned it into a plum color. I like plum. Plum is good. Why is plum fantastic? <laughs> if I do say so myself, I say it's, 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 it's plum fantastic. All right, boys and girls, we're back and by the magic of technology, it's already covered in the black. I went ahead and put that black base coat down. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make two puddles. Make one over here. And I'm gonna make one over here. And I'm gonna save a little bit of that. Then we're gonna put our little open cups down in the puddles. And we're gonna start doctoring. First thing I'm gonna put in there is this beautiful plum red with s'mores mixed in. Then we're gonna put a little bit of TLP Macau in. Sorry, I had to look at the thing. And we're gonna put a little bit of Creative Inspirations Copper in. And then we're gonna put in a little bit of the Buff CA I made, which may or may not give us some cells, we will see. And then we're gonna put some of the 
Brule TLP on. It's kind of like a yummy, creamy coffee right now, doesn't it? All right, and then we're gonna put a little silver. I'm sorry, platinum. By Folklore Treasure Gold Collection. Actually, I don't have much of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all in there. And I'm done with that. I'm gonna throw that away. And I'm gonna drop a little bit more of that red on it. That brown red almost. Beautiful, beautiful burgundy with the glossies on it. And we're gonna go back and put a little bit of this here. TLP. Put the rest of the TLP on this one. Now that's the McCall. McCall there. Then we're gonna put a little bit of this here. Copper in there. Actually, we're gonna use the rest of the copper. I didn't know it was that close. Alrighty. Then we're gonna put a touch more of that CA I put in there. It looks like it's working already. Well, heck, there ain't much left. Might as well put it all on. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna put that brulee on. TLP brulee. That is the rest of the TLP brulee. The only thing we didn't use all of is that beautiful Bordeaux red with the gloss in it. But I'm all right with that. And it's looking real pretty if you ask the hippy dippy right now. I like it. So how are we gonna do this? Let me see, how am I gonna move them? Well, we're gonna spin them a little bit, of course. Lift up slightly, pull and spin, lift up slightly, pull and spin. Lift up slightly, pull and spin, lift up slightly, pull and spin. Go over here, and I believe I'm done with it. Turn it that way. And it might not make no difference what I'm doing here. It might all get slung off, but I like it. And I believe I'm gonna run this one, uh, did that one that way. So I'm gonna run this one in the opposite direction with my spin, spin and lift, spin and lift, spin and lift. And now the, the lifting part of this, baby girls and boys, is just, the tiniest fraction of a lift. There we go. Now we got that off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tapity tap this one right in here. All right. Well, wham bam and thank you. I love that. I just love that. What to do next? What to do next? Well. I say embellishments are the plan, wouldn't you boys and girls? Let's try her out. Let's just run this through there, ziggy zaggy and ready? Get it by the tip here, and... Out that way. And we'll wipe that off. Now I wanna go through here. Go out that way. Then I'm gonna go through this since this just looks completely untouched. Go here, go. Out that way. Maybe I'll bring this in here to the center a bit with a little pulley pull. Maybe we'll go through here too. Bring that on down the line and this one. All right, all right, all right, all right. I like it. Right, let me see what else I want. Do I want to do anything else? <clears throat> uh, I believe I'll do a little spinny winny around the knees. Hold on. Bring that down that way. 
All right, I don't feel like I did enough in this little spot right here. But most of that will probably come off because I am going to spin. So let's spin it, see what it looks like, y'all. And then we'll go from there. Okay, everybody run for cover. Hide your dogs. Tell the birds not to fly too low. We're about to spin. The hippie is spinning. Yeah, it's way too close to the hippie. <laughs> we just figured that out. I'll well, tell you what, if you just want to have a new or exciting thrill in your life, splash some big pile like a half a bucket of paint right in your crotch. I'll tell you what, that's uh, excitement in ways I can't even explain. Makes you want to jump up and scream hallelujah. Anyway, okay. I mean, I just gotta say, man, that's a stutterer for me. That's a d -d 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 damn, that looks good. Hold on, I'm gonna run it a little bit over to the side here. I don't like this open space, tell you the truth. So I'm gonna lift that up a little bit and get underneath it. I'm gonna go that way just a touch, just a little bit. That's it, that's all I want. Go towards this corner a little bit. Come on, beep, beep, there it goes. And I'm gonna leave this piece of black over here, I like it that piece of black but I am gonna grab hold on let me get my let me get me a tissue here tissue too tight too tight to tissue here and we're gonna use one of these huge spoons over here I'm just gonna wipe it off and we're gonna get a little bit of this copper dropper right here and drop it right there run into this one too. Pull a little bit of this that slung off and put it right there so I can sling off some more because I'm about to spin a little more I think. Hmm, I like that one. I like that one. I'll put that right there. Pull that paint down. I'm just about done y'all. I'm going to spin a little bit more see what we get. Hopefully not cover my entire crotch this time. I have backed up. No, now it's hitting my legs. That's even better. Annie's under her bed. She's okay, she says. The, the puppies are safe. That's all that matters. Mm. Yeah, see, I don't want to tilt that anymore, so I'm just going to keep spinning. Let the paint fall where it will. I'm going to tell you what, man. You know you are got a lot of paint on your canvas, and it's rocking and rolling. When you shoot a drop of paint three feet away onto the paper towel roll, I just got just figured that one out. Oh man, I got <laughs> even some more over here. <coughs> yep, 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 yep. I'm surprised Jenny ain't over here right underneath my feet. If she was, she would be completely covered in paint right now because this is right here. One more time. I don't want to move it no more, but I'm gonna have to. It's got too much paint on it. I lost a lot of my cells having to spin that to get that paint off of it, but yeah. It is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. If you'd used one cup, it would have worked. Well, but I like the... I like it. I, I like the it. design. It's it made beautiful. with the two cups, so, you know. Yes, it's beautiful. I'm in on that. That's okay if it loses some sales. I still got some pretty sales on this side. It's scrapey, scrapey, and... I believe I might run towards you a little bit and let them stretch out. What do you think? Should I tilt it towards you? If you're... To no? You like it like it I is? don't want to do anything to the composition. I know you, you need. like it like it have is. Have you checked to see how, exactly how much paint you have on there? Yeah, give me a uh, skewer and we'll see how much is in the middle. Now that thing's already purple. That that skewer is so. Not bad. We got a millimeter there. Maybe if we just scrape it real good. Yeah, we'll scrape the edges once we lift it up, and it'll be fine. I think. Here, you want to put this back over? All right, boys and girls, I'm good to go here. We're going to lift this up and put it on the, uh, uh, the paper cups here so it'll dry right. And I'm going to scrape the bottoms of it. But there ain't no sense in y'all hanging around for that. Let me just say this. I love you all. And if you don't mind, and you have, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to our page. If you enjoyed this little circus we put on for you today, please click that like button. And... If you like the hippie dippy and you like watching him and listening to him, please hit that little bell because the bell will notify you when I am back on here.
same bad time, same bad channel. And until then, peace out.